Hey people, Sylvius here. Still on the test server. Got a new mount and outfit. Uh, this is the Evoker outfit and a Wacoon, I think it was called. Anyway, I'm in Liberty Bay. This is the uh, Quora Grotto. Um, before we start, I should point out that I'm laggy, which is annoying. Um, and also, that I will not be able to go into the deeper sides of this because I cannot get my hands on a um, Helmet of the Deep. Nobody will sell me one. And uh, there is one on the market, but it was for like 500 million gold coins or something utterly stupid like that. So I'll just be able to showcase the top level here and also showcase the incredible lag I'm experiencing. Which is uh, slightly less awesome. On a side note though, um... Great. I don't think it's my internet, just for the record. I think it's, uh, I think it's Tibia, but... Well, this is probably gonna suck. I might have to come back and do this later. What I was going to say, though, was, uh, I like this mount. There's different colors of it. Here, I can actually showcase those real quick. You can also always just, you know, check the website, but... Uh, Ringtail Wakoon, Night Wakoon, and I got the Emerald Wakoon. Which is the one I currently have. But the Night Wakoon's not bad. It's not bad. I consider that one too. If if I was ever going to buy a mount, I think this would be the one I buy. Because I think it's just silly looking. That said, I'm probably never going to buy a mount. Just a tad bit too expensive, I think. They're really, really priced a little bit highly. You found a beautiful pearl. Did it go into my inventory? Oh, it went on the floor. Giant shimmering pearl. Yeah, real quick, hold on. I just want to see premium time. Yeah, so I mean this mount costs the same as 90 days worth of premium time. You know, it's like... I would consider it, but a little too expensive. I actually think... Um, all of the things that are like that, the tibia cells, are a little bit too uh, pointless. A little bit too pointless and a little bit way too much costly. I mean, sure, like, the mount does give you an advantage in-game, but a minor advantage, and you could, you know, just buy coins and sell the coins for the amount of money you need to be able to get the mount that you want. And even then, if the mount that you want is still, like, dangerous or something difficult to get, you could probably just pay a high-level knight uh, to stand in front of the monster and block it for you. Just, yeah, it's like... Translates into, like, $20 or something for this mount. That's just a little bit too high. That's a little bit too high for something that's largely pointless and has no, like, real intrinsic value. Like, if they sent me a little figurine with it, that's worth it. Alright, so this is where I would be able to go down, but uh, I'm not able to. Yep. Incidentally, I'm pretty sure I'm still female. And uh, did not look like I was wearing a male's bathing suit there. Or a female's bathing suit. This, by the way, if you wanted to task Quora Scouts, is a lot better than that other place. Um... I honestly can't remember where it's at right now. Uh, was that in Port Hope? Yeah, it was in Port Hope. This seems like a better spot than the Port Hope cores, just because, uh, you know, it's just pure cores. Actually, you know what? I want to point out, this is actually a pretty solid spot just in general, now that I think about it. Much more Quora than, um... Oh, I can only open up one shell a day. I didn't know that. Uh, this is much better than the Quora Caves, Scout Caves, of course, um, in Svargran. The, like, Horodmir or something like that, I think they're called. Quora Caves. They're a little bit smaller, and also kind of an annoying location, too, actually. They are, um... They're quite a walk away from pretty much anywhere else you've got to go, and you've got to run past all the, like, novices of the cult and crap like that. So, yeah, this is a much easier to get to place. Being as it's, you know, just right there next to Liberty Bay. Uh, it's also bigger. 
And also, those Haradmir uh, Korra Scout Caves kind of uh, hammer you when you first go in down the stairs. You, like, drop down the rope hole, and there's, like, six of them right there. This place didn't quite do that, which was nice. Possibly a little bit worse of a, uh, a layout, though. Hard to say. Probably be significantly better if I also had the, uh, you know, the helmet that lets me go underwater. It's a shame that I couldn't get those. I have never actually killed a full-fledged Quora. Because, you know, you kind of need that helmet wherever you go. And that's that thing that Tibia does, where it likes to add new areas and then put them behind, like, hours of annoying and pointless quests. Like, look, I just want to kill Quora's, not, you know, go through the entire Explorer Society quests. Also, I could really handle a little bit less lag here. Really? Really, really? Alright, nothing up there. So yeah, so far my general assessment is this place is as good, if not better, than the Svargrand uh, Quora Scout positions. Um, and it's better than the, uh, the one in... Super lag land in Liberty Bay. Oh uh, yeah, Liberty Bay. It's better than the one in Port Hope that also has all the uh, the water elementals. Because the water elementals just uh, slow the process of tasking the Quora Scouts down. That of course assumes that your goal is uh, tasking on Quora Scouts and not something else. If your goal is I don't know loot or EXP or something like that, then uh, that's an entirely different ball game, and the water elementals might make, make things better for you. I, however, do not like water elements. They hit me kind of hard. And at range. Oop, out of arrows. Actually. You know what? <laughs> After I died at the, uh, the hive infestation last night, I forgot to buy new arrows. So I'm down to 89 arrows right now. So I'm going to try to... Uh, Am I not shooting fireballs? Okay. Okay. Ah, it's because they're not real fireballs anymore. Yep. It looks like they took away that stupid thing uh, with the, like, they wanted you to mana it. Okay, so yeah, I guess it makes sense that they're mean dies. Uh, so, yeah, you can see here, actually, like, you see 13 avalanche... You see 13 avalanche runes, Adori Mas Frigo. They can only be used by players of level 30 and magic level of 40 or higher. You see 53 avalanche runes, blank space. They can only be used by players with level 0 or higher. Whoops, I kind of wanted to kill him with a strike. So I guess I can't be using uh, these ones. Oh, that hit me. I've been hit. God, this lag. <laughs> Did I just uh, get kicked? Nope. Alright, that was just some uber lag, though. Uber, uber. Alright, folks, well, that's the entire upper layer of this place, as far as I can tell. Yeah, it looks like the whole thing. Uh, if I... If you had a Helmet of the Deep, you would be able to potentially find more. I don't know what's on the other levels, because I didn't bother to check. Uh, I don't know if it's just plain cores, or if you'll also run into core scouts down a level. Uh, so, I don't know. I've also never been in any of the areas that are considered underwater, so I don't really know what it's like fighting underwater. Anyway, this is a little disappointing, due to various reasons, but... uh. Oh, hey, look, he wasn't here last time. Last time it was a uh, Mantis Assassin. That's cool. I like when there's uh, there's different spawns at places. Anyways, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, check me out on Facebook and Patreon. And I don't think I'll be doing any more Tibia tonight because of the lag, unless that goes away at some point. <laughs>